Corey is the most humble and honest person I've ever met. Who is she to me? She's the love of my life, man. We met at a friend's house. Um, it's a funny story. Uh, I kind of felt like Corey was maybe looking at me and judging me a little bit. She was with a guy that I thought she was actually with, and his, his name is Joe, he's a good friend of ours, and uh, I just didn't like the scene, you know, this guy and her, they, they just didn't match. So it actually made me angry. You know, what's your deal, do we have a problem? And he, he kind of just like brushed it off, didn't say that we had a problem or anything. And I left, and my friend contacts me, and he's kind of like, you know, Vanessa, Corey thinks you're cute, and this and that, and I was like, really? Because he was just like, icing me, he was being so rude. She seen anybody? He's like, is she with that dude? She, he, uh, he was like, uh, I don't know, honestly. I was like, I was like, well, can you find out? Like, let me know, you know what I mean? Like, I, I want to talk to her, you know what I mean? After that, the, he reached out to me. I was in Florida. Uh, I texted her, I was like, hey, you know, you want to hang out? And she was like, um, I can't, I'm in Florida. And uh, I was like, all right, you know, no problem, cool. And, you know, then a, a couple other weeks passed. He reached out. I was with, you know, I had plans that day. She was like, oh, no, you know, I can't hang out. There's a tree down in my yard. Come to find out there was never no tree down in her yard or in her driveway. She actually uh, used the phrase in her driveway. And, um, so I kind of like, hit him up as a last resort and we ended up hanging out i picked him up we drove around for like three hours we talked and talking to me that long like if you can keep my interest i knew that there was something there so i was like all right well i just wasted about a half a take of gas doing absolutely nothing so i'm gonna drop you off um give me a call and then we connected again one of our friends invited us to their campsite so we went there and like talked all night and I guess it was like kind of a wrap from there we we hung around all summer it was like my summer love and then the winter came around and we're like it's not just a summer thing and it's been awesome ever since it's been a roller coaster that Valentine's Day would be the perfect day, but I also knew that she was gonna expect it because it's, it's, it's the day of love, you know. I know the money's coming in, where's my ring? <laughs> so what I did was the day after, I proposed to her. He kind of told me like, I did get you a gift, it hasn't come in yet, and I was like, just write me a card. I wasn't like gonna make a big deal about it, but I was like, okay, so I guess um, it's not gonna happen <laughs> again. I only did it because I actually got her a gift. I got her an eternity rose, and it was supposed to come a little bit before Valentine's Day, but it didn't, so it came the day after. I had a handmade, drawn-out card that I just poured my heart into, and even she knows, like, I don't do that, you know what I mean? So, she's just like reading it, and she starts crying, and I'm just like, oh, man. I just get to the bottom of this, so I can just stop and not, he won't see that I'm crying, and, and you know, we'll be fine. On the bottom, it said, uh, P.S. and then it uh, says so like flip over and it says will you marry me on the other side and she was just so emotional she just closed it and didn't even see that part so like <laughs> so like I'm just like oh she didn't read it so she puts the card down I grab the card back and I'm like here you got to continue to read it and then she opens it and then sees that and spins it around and she sees it and as she's going to read that I'm like kneeling down and this isn't our house I'm kneeling down and I you know grab the ring and I present the ring to her he's like on his knees with the ring and I was like yes put it on
my better half, honestly, like, you know, my brown eyed girl, man, you know, so. And I knew that God was very intentional putting us together. Uh, we both needed each other and found somebody who was just going to make us better.